Our second academic host and a co-host of tonight's show, the Senior Director of External Relations for the California State University, Marianne Jackman. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our Chancellor, Timothy White, it is our honor to be here tonight representing the California State University system. The CSU system is one of the largest institutions of higher education in the world. We operate 23 campuses and eight off-campus centers that enroll just over 460,000 students. This includes Cal Poly Pomona and Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. I know you're in the house. These are two of the best polytechnic universities in America. We employ over 24,000 faculty and nearly that many staff, which makes the CSU system the largest four-year public university system in the United States. With nearly 100,000 graduates annually, the CSU system is the nation's greatest producer of bachelor's degrees. We collectively sustain more than 150,000 jobs within the state, with expenditures of more than 17 billion annually. Collectively, roughly half of all the bachelor's degrees, one-third of all master's degrees, and 2% of all doctoral degrees earned annually in the state of California are awarded by the CSU institutions. CSU system is also aggressively engaging our students in the STEM field with our STEM collaboratives project, managed by my colleague, Dr. Don Digrius, who's also with us in the audience tonight. Created with funding from the Leona M. and Harry B. Helmsley Charitable Trust, STEM Collaboratives provides immersive educational STEM experiences beginning with the summer before college and continuing through the entire first year at the CSU into redesigned gateway courses essential for success in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Although Great Minds in STEM has, been, has a long history working directly with many of our institutions, the CSU system is proud to partner with the organization's leadership on a statewide level this year, and we look forward to expanding this relationship well into the future. To talk a little bit more about the CSU's role as an academic host of this event and his role as a co-chair of the HENAC Selection Committee, I'd like to call on stage the president of the California State University, Los Angeles, Dr. William Covino. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Covino. Thank you, Marianne. Cal State LA has enjoyed a long and mutually beneficial relationship with great minds in STEM for many years. Some of it has to do with sheer proximity. The GMIS offices for most of the last 15 years were located just a block or so from the main entrance to our campus. But most of this relationship has to do with an aligned vision for transforming our East Los Angeles community through STEM access to higher education. While students from all over the city the state and the country matriculate at Cal State LA, we take great pride in the fact that our campus is a beacon of enlightenment, a vehicle of advancement for the underserved populations that surround our campus. To give you just one statistic, about 65% of our students are the first in their families to attend college. Some were the first to graduate from high school. Through partnerships like the one we enjoy with Great Minds in STEM, Cal State LA is very active in K through 12 programs that impact the schools and students in this part of the city. And once those students arrive at our campus, we need to provide them with a world-class education to compete in the global economy. In 2015, U.S. News and World Report ranked Cal State LA's engineering programs as number six nationally among comprehensive universities. 
Based on 2014 data, we're ranked sixth in California for the number of bachelors of science degrees awarded to Hispanic students, and fourth in the state in the number of master's degrees awarded to Hispanic students. And in its most recent data, the National Science Foundation ranked Cal State LA as the number one institution in the country of origin for Hispanic PhD recipients. So I like that one. Before I wrap up, I'd like to recognize Dr. Emily Allen, the Dean of our College of Engineering, Computer Science, and Technology. We heard Dean Yortsos of USC speak earlier about the importance of the selection committee to the HENAC Awards, and I couldn't be prouder of the job that Dean Allen did representing our institution in this very prestigious role. Let's give both of our deans one more round of applause. Thank you all very much.